Hi, welcome to 1973 GMC Motorhome episode 12. Today, we're going to work on that area back there. So, the wall panel back there behind this piece of laminate was pretty rotted. It wasn't super rotted, but rotted enough. We get to use this. Oh, I got wasps in here. We get to use this as a template. So we're going to measure to the bottom of this, use this template on the top, and that's going to be the right side edge, and then we're going to make a new piece. Okay, so I've laid my old panel up there and marked out my cutouts for the seat belts and the outlet, this little notch over here. But I also need to come down to 35 inches to hit the floor, but on this side, 24 inches and then nine out here for the step and then down to my 35 so i'll mark that next okay so here's our piece that's going to be the step seat belt seat belt outlet i imagine i'll just run a line across at the bottom to clean those up a little bit All right, I'm putting on my reverse blade, so when I cut down into the top of this, I'm not messing it up, although most of the edges you won't really see. And I'm not gonna film this because it'll be impossible to film and do it at the same time, but you know how to cut with a jigsaw. Okay. Seatbelt, seatbelt, outlet. That's cut out for something. Let's see if this fits. And voila, there's that side. That's pretty good. I've got a bead of caulk under there. That I um, doubled the edge, stuck it in there, and this will, of course, be covered by carpet. And the whole bench here will cover the bottom there, but it'll be, and I'll put a cover on that. Anyway, so that's, that's that side. I'll leave that. Uh, light uh, the uh, outlet cover off so it can be painted all right so now i think i'll do this piece over here in the trim okay i got this piece removed and what i have in here is this was in here and this is my door now i wasn't able to get any of that stuff to come on I know that light works. I'm gonna put a bulb in that one and get that working and see if this, can get this door light to start doing anything. Um, also, I got nothing over here, but I got a blown fuse in there. So let's replace that fuse and see if we get uh, at least 12 volts here um, from our uh, coach battery. Okay, there's my buzz box which is gonna be replaced, but I don't have the battery hooked up. But as you can see, that light up there is now working. Now we've replaced the fuse, the very top fuse. And we're gonna see if we got power down there or that's hot. And we'll see if that's hot. All right, we've got 12 volts there now. We didn't have before, so that top fuse goes to the passenger side overhead. Now we're gonna check down here. Okay, so I got power coming out of there too. So that's 12 volts and that's 12 volts on the very top fuse. Here, which is up there. So I still got nothing going on with this i'm gonna go look in my uh look online and see if i can figure out what the scoop is with that how that's wired um meantime that side there because that is so pretty we're obviously gonna do the same thing to this side so maybe i'll take this panel off and then i can see where that wire is coming from and we'll probably make a uh, I don't know what we're going to do with that. If we're going to put a light down there on the floor or what, because there's no um, dinette in here yet. So maybe 
that would go on the back of the dinette and I can have a push button LED so we'll see okay so this is all cleaned up I think we're gonna fix this little corner here that's good there definitely good enough this is just a matter of yeah you're running hard out there so that's fine but we're gonna do what we did on the other side we're gonna cut this there's a plate somewhere we're gonna split that make a shorter piece this time get that in there uh, next and by the way that's an end run down there so that's not going anywhere and this is the end of this so we'll have to figure out maybe what we want to do with those wires like I said maybe we can put it on um, the back side of the dinette table for a light as you come in the door it might be neat all right there's piece number one I think we'll caulk around that just to seal that up before we put piece number two on Okay, there's our second piece. Now we'll go ahead and fiberglass that. So now that's all glassed up. Again, not pretty, but nobody's going to see it. Meanwhile, there's this wire coming out of here. There's a bunch of this kind of stuff, and we have to sort that all out. Still haven't figured out how to get this working. I'm assuming this grounds it. That grounds, and that should turn on these lights. Now these lights here have one position that's let's see, that's on, and that position should be, you would think, uh, the grounded out position to on, but there it's not. So I don't know if I'm just going to bury this stuff and forget about it, um, or maybe I'll mess with it a little bit in the morning. Uh, we're running out of daylight here. But um, I might cut this one piece because this, well, I guess I'll have that, those wires coming out of the very bottom because I still like the idea of when you walk in the door having a light, which we can turn on manually. So I think I can cover that back up at this point. It's this upper one that I need to sort out. Okay, now that wall section's in there. And we'll caulk along that. I just put the plug cover on there just to give it a look. But we're going to paint all that and probably replace that outlet too. So there's that. That looks nice. That's done. That side's done. Working our way back. And I still got to figure out what's up with that wiring before I cover that. Okay, and that's the end of that. So that's all. Whole side is done back up again good enough for what we're going to use it for and there's still some caulking and sanding and painting and stuff I think the uh, saying goes a little spackle a little paint makes a carpenter what he ain't that's not bad now we're going to start to tackle this and this is for the next episode we're going to rebuild the rear here. So until then, see you soon.